Right back here is the town of Buford. There's a beautiful park here, and then of course the waterfront, which is just beautiful. Come on, we keep spinning, we're gonna let them see. I'm It's the evening we got here today went to Beaufort just for a little bit to see beautiful old town you can see the Sun setting got my jacket on it's getting chilly and as always we are cooking on the Blackstone got some chicken some veggies going and just maybe use some teriyaki and some garlic and we'll be having dinner I know it's getting dark but you've got to look at that maybe hard to see but man they got some chicken in there teriyaki sauce vegetables <sighs> gotta love that blackstone I'd like to talk some more but it is time to get inside and eat guess we'll probably see you in the morning Another quick stop here. So this is Sheldon Church. It says these ruins are of Prince William's Parish Church, built in 1751 to 1757 and partially burned during the American Revolution with its interior and roof rebuilt in the 18, mid-1820s. Church was primarily paid for by William Bull who was alive in the 1600s, who was buried here. It is often called Sheldon after Bull's Plantation. So I got a sign here that says use of this church is by permission only and has a phone number, which we called. And they said, sure, you're allowed to walk around. Of course, just stay off the graves. But there are graves all around. I mean, this is wild. Listen to the birds and all the Spanish moss all around and these big huge trees but look at that but is that not cool she said you can walk all around so that's what we're gonna do Built between 1745, burned in 1779, rebuilt, and then burned again in 1865. We're going to go inside here. Gosh, it's just kind of eerie. I mean, you can still see, like, burnt areas all around the top I'm sure which is from the roof burning and here's the burial spot of William Bull the builder it's kind of a shame when you get people that you know will write and deface things like this but here we have one 1937 1944 so I guess that starts to be, be history too. Look at this on the premises here. Pull it down. It's an old pump that still functions. Look at that. No, no, no. You just push it. It's a pump. Pull it up and pull it down. That's it. Now push up. Plantation, Tamale Plantation, but look, it's just a 
as you can tell, it's just lined with oak trees, with the Spanish moss. I mean, it's beautiful. And they're all over down here. Just a long driveway, just lined with Spanish moss. So we're at the KOA here, and they got a wine bar, and you can get um, wine samples or mixed drinks, and they got um, a nice little flight here. And this one here is actually made specially for this campground. Pretty good. A little chilly today. Came to Charleston. This behind me here is um, City Market. Gosh, probably almost a quarter mile long of just uh, marketplaces, indoors and outdoors. This is actually the indoor section, but back that way and then all the way down this way. We're now going to um, go over to uh, the row houses, show you those. Here we are at Rainbow Row. All different color painted houses. And there's my wife yelling at me. Pastel colored, 13 Georgian style homes. These homes date back to the mid 1700s. Savannah, Quite Georgia an here. Now, and why this is park the is to the south? It's because, well, on the bench. Georgia was originally the bench set up is still as a here buffer the, um, between the Carolinas to the north and the, and the historic Spanish museum the now, but it used to sit in this to park south here. To make sure that the Spanish Johnny Mercer. Simply put a song. You know, people often ask me.